Mark Moran at Little Bay has long been regarded as one of the finest aged care facilities in Australia. Recently, Mark and Yvette Moran added a state-of-the-art home for behavioural management, complementing their low and high care offerings. The benchmark that we're setting at Little Bay is really about quality of life in all areas. So we've opened a behavioural management home for our residents and really we've, we've evolved what was an existing standard behavioural wing into something that is very comfortable, it's very homey, it's got a high consideration given to the look, to the feel, to the light, to the space. I as the Mayor feel very pleased that we've got a facility of this calibre available to our residents and whenever we're talking about a aged care facility we're talking about a service it's providing to our community and I think this is really setting the benchmark. Little Bay is a leader in aged care. We have a shared vision at Little Bay and that vision is that if we can make life better, if we can make the environment better, if we can make the activities better, then that's to the benefit not only of the residents but also the carers themselves. You've got Cathy Riches and you've got this team that's blossoming around her. You can come in here as a low care resident for all your needs you require, but as you age, you can stay with us. We can manage your high care, palliative care, any specialist care you require. This is an absolute comfort to our residents and to their families. You're looked after by the staff that you've known and they've grown to love you and really understand you and your family. Well, the full team of clinical managers, a permanent physiotherapist, and a full-time educator that our staff have the latest knowledge in caring for your needs. This is one of the rare facilities that has a full-time physiotherapy department. The philosophy here is that exercise is not a choice. Your choice is what form. If you do the exercise, you'll be able to function a lot better. You can maintain a level of independence. I'm 97, my wife is 93. We have been in here for three years already. I will not be wrong to say that it's the best in Sydney. Well appointed, well run, all the people I talk to, they're all very happy being here. The nurses are very nice, very obliging, nothing is a trouble to them. They're genuine people and they, they genuinely go over and beyond what you would expect in any aged care facility. If you, if you look at the care that's given and then you add in the beautiful facility, you add in the beautiful amenities, you add in the physio program, and then you've got an international chef working full time around the clock. Richard Wyatt achieved a prestigious A rating this year from the Australian Food Authority, but he's better known for his recent role as chef on the superliner QE2, and it's great to have him on board. You really can't go to aged care facilities and expect that type of service, that type of quality and that type of commitment to outcomes built around compassion. It's not enough to have nurses and assistant nurses walking around providing the basics. What you need to look for is whether there's a connection between those staff members and the residents that they care for. If you think this world-class low and high care facility would suit your family, it's very affordable and open to just about anybody who owns their own home, including pensioners. <laughs>